Now I'm not gonna lie, this might be the single most creative yet most devious out of violence I've ever seen. Don't get me wrong, I do not like cockroaches, but you know how evil you gotta be to catch a cockroach cause them boys are not easy to catch. Keep it alive and tip it to a motherfucking firework, light it up and blast it way up in the sky. Like look at bro right there, he had no idea this would be his final moment. His homeboys is probably crawling around the house looking for him, they're probably worried. They probably sent out the roach amber alerts looking for bro right there. Little do they know, his time is up. They will never see him again. Firework wasn't the only thing going up on July 4th. It was going up too. Bro was probably crawling around the house looking for a good meal for July 4th. You know how people be eating barbecue and shit. He was probably just thinking of getting him a snack too. But little did he know, it was his last time. People were just out there getting lit for July 4th but he got lit too. Rest in peace bro, that's actually crazy. Free my cousin? Nah, keep his ass in there. Does this look like the face of somebody that deserves to be freed? Nah, bro, whatever they accuse this bro of, he 1000% did that shit. Keep his ass in there. Bro looks like every single thing he was accused of, he would 1000% do it again. Bro looks like he bites people for fun. Bro looks like the monster under the bed that everybody has been talking about. Bro looks like he waits for the bad bitches to get up so he can sniff the seat. Bro looks like a non-discovered bacteria. Whoever took these pictures of bro were never seen again. He ate them alive. Hey police department, if you free Dr. Stockman right here, he's gonna come out and finish every single job he started. He is not done. Bro is exactly where he belongs, this devious looking dude. This guy looks like a Florida super villain. Ain't gonna lie bro, if I was locked up with this dude and he say, hey, pick up the soap, I ain't gonna hesitate. Cause hey, sh take my lunch money too, that's crazy. This is chicken fried watermelon and I already know what you guys are thinking so look let me explain. This recipe was inspired by this post- Chicken fried watermelon? Nah bro you cannot be serious. As you all know I love watermelon and chicken but hey when they come together it becomes a menace to society. Bro on sending us back a couple centuries into a meal. I can speak for every black person in America and beyond when I say nobody asks for this. Not only does it not look appetizing but this shit looks like it's gonna put me on the toilet for two years. They are just letting absolutely anybody in the kitchen out days this guy looks like he got his license off tiktok it was online nah man we need to get this man banned from every single kitchen in america and beyond we need to take his apron the cap and his cooking license he should never be allowed to make another meal again dude woke up by 3 a.m and said hey let me go into the kitchen and make the well 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 the looks look at this dude right there just casually standing in the middle of the kitchen by 3 a.m eating a watermelon fried chicken lollipop yeah bro don't let me see this shit again that's crazy what are you doing back here? I can't find my fucking face! Nah bro, what flavor is that vape he's looking for? Dude crashed out literally for a blueberry pineapple watermelon fried chicken banana blast vape. That shit was probably $15. Nah bro, these vape addicts are getting out of control. Dudes lose their vape and all of a sudden everyone around them becomes suspects. They start reaching into their waistband like they're about to pop someone. Like bro, I did not take your vape, god damn. Dudes will lose their job and their vape at the same day but they will be more concerned about the vape. Nah bro, these vape companies need to be studied for whatever they are putting in this vape because this dude just crashed out his windshield for over $15 worth of vape. Nah bro, if I was his friend recording, I would be genuinely worried about bro. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even talk to his ass anymore. These are gonna be the same dudes saying, nah bro, I'm not that addicted. Nah bro, I can quit whenever the fuck I want. Nah bro, you cannot quit whenever the fuck you want. Can't you see what's going on? Go get a job at vapeblasters.com near Walmart. Like bro, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. Yo, what business do you have owning Mr. Beast as a pet? Nah, bro, I already know this dude brings along this dog in public sucking about some. Nah, he doesn't bite. He likes you. Nah, he doesn't bite. Biting is the last thing I'm worrying about this demon slayer doing to me. He looks like he's gonna put me in a side headlock, fuck around and choke slam me. You're talking about he's friendly. He's a danger to society. <laughs> if I get attacked by one of these and passing away on site, there's nothing the paramedics could do for me. I'll be on the ground shaking like a 10 year old who just meant Santa. Bro doesn't even look like they give him dog food. Bro looks like they give him people for snacks. Bro be over here eating whole human as appetizers. This is the type of dog that wakes up early in the morning and say, yo, take me on a walk and the owners have nothing to say, no question asked. If that dog said he's gonna do something, he's gonna do it. Fuck around, ask him a question and face the consequences. I know bro's name is probably Sprinkles or something sweet like that. I'm gonna name him Demon Slayer, that's crazy. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. I don't know why I keep wearing this headband, but it's gonna make me look cool. I like looking cool, so yeah, see y'all. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like the video too, bye.